here bringing you some more uh, na team battle action of course in that last game we had raz taking down machine making the score a little bit closer raz's team at two wins machines at three so raz stays on and will be playing against striker in this next round uh should be a very good one guys thank you for tuning in hope that you're enjoying this uh and a team battle a lot of the top non-korean players participating and giving us some great games here so far uh definitely let me know what you think down below in the comments i appreciate it all right so the map is ascension and you know ascension is becoming so popular uh at this point like i i think that this is a map that uh will probably be a lot around for a long time it gives a lot of very interesting games but like i kind of mentioned before it feels like it is uh, a little bit Zerg favored, honestly. It's just, it seems a little bit difficult for Protoss to deal with uh, Zerg's high ground locations when they have Lurkers and Hydras on them. Uh, just very hard to break out. We'll see if this game actually goes into a situation like that. Uh, the previous time that we actually saw Raz play on this map in uh, Protoss vs. Zerg, we did see that... Uh, you know, it was basically Mutalisk sniping his High Templars that prevented him from breaking some of those areas. So that could be something that we end up seeing again. Not entirely sure. Uh, I think Striker definitely plays a different style from Hawk overall, though. So let's see how it goes. Like, uh, I, I think that, you know, Striker does a pretty macro heavy kind of greedy-ish style, generally speaking. Uh, now, that's not to, you know, shoebox him into just one way of playing, but... See what he wants to bring to the table. Now, Raz making that first Zealot has a second pylon going down in his main. He's going to be going up against a Hatchery first. So we'll see if he goes to Zealot Nexus here again, or if he wants to try to apply a bit more pressure with this. Uh, his probe not finding it quite yet. Going to be coming down pretty shortly here. Passing that Overlord as it goes out. Scouting drone is on the way towards Raz's base as well. And here we go. Sees exactly what's up. Second Zella is on the way. And let's see. Does Raz throw down another pylon? Or is he going to go ahead and throw that Nexus down? We're going to see momentarily. Zella running forward. Drone trying to slow him down. Nice micro there by Striker. I always like this type of move, honestly. Like, you can slow down the Zella quite a bit. And the drone, as long as you're decent at micro, is not really likely to die. It's just... It's a little bit too fast for the Zealot to really do anything against at this point in the game. So yeah, the drone will go all the way home. In the meantime, Raz staying on his style, throwing down that Nexus. So not not too slow, honestly. Uh, third hatchery it has been started here for Striker as well at the regular location. Second Zealot coming in. Now let's see what he can get done here with this Zealot harassment. Now the drone comes up. Ooh, gets a couple nice hits right there. <gasps> oh my god, that drone's so low. Only five health left over. He ends up picking off the probe as well. Very well done by Striker thus far. The Zealot gonna wiggle around. It looks like he should end up getting caught. Uh, the second Zealot coming in. No, turns around and gonna run towards that third base location. This uh, definitely going to end up dying. Doesn't seem as if it's going to end up getting any kills here either. But back at home. Ah, the forge actually in the main wall. And then a Cybernex core in the main. That's kind of interesting. A little bit different from what we saw against Hawk. Uh, we saw the Cybernex core up here and the forge back here. But maybe this is a situation where Raz felt like he needed to get that forge up just a little bit quicker, so may as well make it in that wall. And there actually are a lot of lings on the way. And in fact, Zergling speed coming right up. No more gas being mined. Now, that may look all in-ish, but there's actually a very cool macro build where you go quick ling speed and stop mining gas for a while. Uh, it's something I've, I've, I've seen like Hero do and maybe a couple other pro Zergs as well. So... Uh, these lings coming up. I don't think that there's any real way to get damage. Obviously, with two Zealots in the wall, and as well as a cannon finishing up, that's going to be a very tough one uh, to really break into, to really do any damage against. So, we have the Stargate coming up. Pretty standard stuff here from Raz. We'll see if he gets that plus one started, wants to get the Citadel down. I imagine it's going to be plus one very, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, oh, and never mind. Plus one on that cybernetic score uh, for the flying units. Now, this cell uh, somehow wiggles in with all, this, <laughs> all these circlings across the map. Now, this was well done. Look, 
He's causing a bunch of lost mine time. He's already killed a drone as well. It seems like that'll probably be the only drone he ends up getting. But this was fantastic. Just to get the scout and see that there's no gas being mined, to get a drone on top of that is amazing. And during this, oh my god, two more zealots sneak out. I don't believe Striker saw this. If these two zealots show up here with no lings in sight, that could be potentially a lot of damage. Let's take a look at what else Raz has going on. He has his plus one in the way, a secondary cannon. The uh, Corsairs are coming. There is an Overlord over here as well. And look at this. The two zealots get down here. Uh, there's only a few speedlings over here already damaged as well. Some over on this side. And it seems like Striker has been caught off guard here. Three Zealots now all joining up. Definitely enough to kill this all off. Has to make a few more Zerglings to be certain. Oh, that drone drill, though. So, so strong. But the Zealots starting to connect a little bit. Oh, the drill once again. Forcing them to dance. Having a very hard time actually connecting here with those Zealots. Looks like he's going to go ahead and split them up. Another one joining forces here. As these two run in the main. This one runs away. Looks like it will be chased down. Uh, by those pursuing Zerglings. But yeah, going to just split the Zealots up as best he can to try to get maximum damage. Not sure if he's going to get any more kills. Oh, gets a drone at the natural. And looks like he actually gets one in the main as well. So I got to say, I think that the Zealots have been really phenomenal here from Raz this game. Uh, definitely did a very, very strong job. Now we have the Citadel starting up legs. Templar Archives on the way. Some more gates being added. Plus one halfway done. Corsairs. Well, this one's already got one kill, so second Overlord's going to be falling. There is a Spore Colony here at the Natural as the uh, as the anti-Corsair defense. Carapace on the way. And I'm very interested to see where Striker goes from this. I always think of him as a, a very smart Zerg who knows what the metagame is all about and how to utilize that to his advantage. So this is, it, like like I mentioned, I saw a build that kind of looked like this from, uh, from Hero in the past, but it seems like this has taken a sharp turn with this uh, fast carapace upgrade instead of like a ranged attack or something like that. Now the Corsair watches, sees the layer finish up. He's going to scout around now, see if a Spire is on the way, of course. We see the Hygelus Den here as well as Overlord Speed in that main uh, hatchery. So it seems like it is just going to be a Hygelisk play. No no Mutalisks or anything like that. And in fact, Raz did cancel plus one uh, for his Corsairs. And I, I think he's going to stop Corsair production now as well. See, so he's adding a lot of gateways. And obviously, if your opponent isn't even making a Spire, why in the world would you need more Corsairs? Although this does look awfully juicy here. Seven Overlords just kind of chilling. Waiting for death by a thousand Corsair shots. Okay, so that plus one carapace halfway done. Some static D going up here at the third. Hygelisk speed as well. Looks like it's time for a DT to wiggle out. And an Archon is coming up as well to support these Zealots. That is going to help out a lot against Zerglings. But he already has that plus one. So the Zerglings already having a very, very hard time here. Raz going to start running across the map now with these Zealots. Take a look here. Does he actually have enough? Does, can Striker actually hold on? Yeah, I think he has enough units that he's not going to die here. He's actually making another sunken, it looks like. Uh, he has that Spore up as well to try to stop the DT from getting any damage done. But, you know, these battles get hectic. And occasionally you're going to see this DT just kind of sneak on by into the main base. So we'll see if that ends up happening. All right, starts to run in, starts to run in. The DT turns around. We'll just start fighting some Lings. Still alive, still alive. <laughs> He's really, I, I don't know if he's going to really find anything with this DT. This flank here of the Hydras from Striker, a bit too strong, and Raz does have to back up. Now, in the meantime, ooh, Overlord drop upgrade on the way for Striker. He's also getting the ranged upgrade for these Hydralisks, and that plus one carapace just now going to be finishing. So, uh, I mean, the, the plus one carapace is really helpful on Lings against the Zealots. And overall, like, it's not a bad upgrade, of course. But normally you would prefer when you're going Hydras against this type of composition to have the plus one ranged attacks. So we'll see how he actually ends up utilizing that. Maybe he's going to add in more Zerglings or something like that. I'm not 
Not entirely sure, but we see that he does start on that plus one range now. Now Raz starts his third Nexus, has a couple cannons there with it. Plus one armor on the way, Robo coming up, has a photon cannon in the main. Of course, that's not very good anti-drop if you really look at it, right? Dragoon range coming up, so not going to be forgetting that this game. Good to see. Happens to the best of us. Now, this, I mean, obviously this group of Hydra is not going to be able to do anything against that massive, massive army. But I think this is going to come down so heavily just to the first drop that Striker does, right? Now, it's not uncommon to see Overlord speed at this point. If you go uh, layer into Hydra instead, obviously you're going to get Overlord speed so that you can kind of just, you know, see DTs, <laughs> pick off observers perhaps uh, when you do have those lurkers out. But yeah, I don't know that he knows that he has drops. But obviously, if you get a big drop off, you can kill basically all of the Protoss tech and production. So we'll see if that happens. Now, the push in comes here from Raz. Oh, his High Templar is too far behind. Oh no, getting stuck on that ramp. He loses an extra Archon. A very expensive unit to be dropping, but to be fair, for its cost, the weakest unit in his army against his Hydralis based composition. Now the Hydras came in and looks like they popped down a couple cannons. Uh, seems like they got a probe or two, but I'm not sure exactly how many. Plus one armor. Oh no, plus two armor on the way here for Raz, who's also making a bunch of Dragoons at a time. Lurker's being morphed. Okay, Striker is getting ready right now. Looks like this is going to be a primarily Hydralisk drop, which means these Lurkers are going to be left back on the defense. And there is, like, no defense here. Look at this. A lot of the tech. Five gateways as well. Raz's army way up here. He is going to be in some serious trouble. And here we go. Striker goes ahead and drops out. That one cannon falling so, so quickly. The Corsair is just kind of on attack move with the rest of the army. Uh, and, I mean, I guess that they can push back the Overlords a little bit. But where is... Oh, no. A Dragoon blocking the path for everything to get in here. And it looks like Striker's drop really going to pay off. Raz in some serious trouble. He's going to end up losing this Nexus. There's Lurkers being made. He's starting to clear it. And I have no doubt that he'll end up killing off this army. But look at this. Now we have Striker getting into position to maybe take down the third base as well. So it looks like he'll go ahead and kill off this Nexus in the main base. A DT going to help out. At cleaning this up since there's no overlords left over but the big story is this rally up on the high ground going to come down this ramp and yeah this is this is gonna be hard to hold on against he does have a very high energy item player. oh brutal not able to get any storms off i think that this is just about game gg striker takes on raz